Oi, what's up, boys and grots and little snots? And can't forget the digger knobs. Willie's taking over this time. Workshop. Hey, what's up everybody? This is G. So this is the first episode of Gorkamorka's Workshop. In this set of videos, I'm going to be exploring the Orc miniature range. The first box set that I'm going to be looking at is everyone's lovable Grotz, the Gretchen. So you get 11 Citadel miniatures for Warhammer 40,000 Orcs, and this is the Gretchen. I've had these for a while, I've been wanting to look at them even though everyone has probably seen them by now. There's some stuff, I've seen these, but there's some that may be new to me. So, yeah, you got your squig hound, runt herd, grops with blasters, spitefully devious green skin gits. So let's uh, open this box up and have a look. And you got a, like the little touch, little goth symbol on the tab. What do we got? Uh, <laughs> you gotta love that the bases are just like a bag of pogs or something. If anyone remembers pogs. And Gretchen, read this first. Before assembling your miniatures, please read through the instructions in this booklet carefully. So the runt herder, grot prod, grab a stick. Two different face variants, body, the hound, the grot prod and grab a stick. You get the two options and the handle with the hand and arm. Choose what you want. Put it together, put it on the body and head. The pistol or slugger. A whip that goes into his on his side on his belt. Hmm. This guy's pretty kinky, he likes his whips it seems. Get that. Grot lash. And you get so you can have him with the grot lash or squig hound. You can get one with damaged ears. Little dude that looks like he's gone to a baseball game with an eye patch. You can get the Mongolian looking one, bandit grot. You get the that sweet ass looking face. You get this one looks looks like it's a part of the Taliban. This guy's seen some better days. Looks like he's ran headfirst into a wall. And you get the not really the biggest fan of this one. Oh, I'm just gonna put a skull on my head like a hat and strap it to me. This one is amazing. He looks crazy as all. And this one. On the orc community i said um, what i thought this one looked like and i'll post a picture as i edit this just so you know what i mean it's a little kid with a goofy smile that become a gif or a meme so, did i miss anything it doesn't really give you instructions it just has heads Yes, the third step. For some reason it doesn't have words. 
or some may be got lost for words. Four, so obviously you can read between the lines. The, the third step is the heads. The fourth is putting them together so obviously you can mix and match. Um, I'll look at them in a second, but yeah. There's some cool looking grots. Does this say how old it was? Oh, it's 2018, obviously. That's when they released it in this. Which they're probably going to change now they've got that Top Gun logo, as good old Dread said. So does that mean that the whole Orc range is going to come in new boxes? I guess so, because this is an old logo and design now. I've got that superhero looking logo, it looks like some, something Marvel would do. Anyway, this guy looks like he wants to kill himself with a stick bomb. This dude's doing the YMCA almost, he's got his arm out. And on that head would probably see the guy that looks like he's going to be a suicide bomber. 25mm base. You've got all the different languages. I mean, it's pretty cool that you get, I guess, the what you need to play them. English. These essential rules will get your unit, new unit, sorry, on the battlefield for the full rules for this unit. See the codex relevant to your army. Bit of a generic ball right there. So yeah, they give you this, but for the full rules, Gretchen name Gretchen, movement 5, weapon skill 5+, plus, ballistic skill 4+, plus, strength 2, toughness 2, wounds, attacks 1, leadership 4, save 6+. plus. What a great save. 6+, plus Steve, I would be proud. This unit contains 10 Gretchen. It can include up to 10 additional Gretchen power rating plus 1 or up to 20 additional Gretchen power rating plus 3. Each model is armed with a Grot Blaster. Grot Blaster, 12 inch range. Type, Pistol, 1. Strength, Free AP attack power of zero. I guess that's what defense is it? Sorry, noob moment. Abilities none. Well, abilities dash, but then it's abilities daka daka daka. Surprisingly dangerous in a large number. Add one to hit rolls for attacks made by models in this unit while it contains 20 or more models. Faction keyword Orc. Clan. Keywords Infantry. Gretchen. Yeah. That's a little, that's a little booklet. Obviously for people that are new to this stuff that may be watching and want to have a look through this stuff. The miniatures get a lot more advanced as you go on, so obviously these are just, these a little bit, put arms, heads and stuff. These, you obviously put the arms on some of them, some of them, like this one's all together, put the head on him. But yeah, as, you, as I go through the range, the miniature range, you'll see that it will become more advanced. You will need glue and a hobby knife to put these together. Plastic glue would be the best. Yeah. So you can have any plastic glue or plastic cement. This basically welds or 
infuses basically the plastic together. And you'll need a hobby knife to clean up mold lines. You'll need clippers to cut them from the sprue. So if you're watching this to see if you like the range and you're kind of new to the Warhammer universe and hobby, you're going to need some glue, you're going to need some clippers and you don't, I guess, technically need it, but a hobby knife is always good. If you're young, you might want to get someone else to help you put these together because the hobby knife can be quite sharp. Now let's have a look at the, the sprue now. So if I can get it on camera, if you see a little bit of a raised line going up his body, they're mould lines. That's one main reason you want to use the hobby knife. You can get a mould if you're a child or a teenager or whatever. As I say, get someone else to help you do this or a mould line remover is a lot more safe because it's not really sharp. It's just, it's got a dull blade but it's enough to go down and get rid of these mould lines, hence the name mould line remover. It gets rid of that. But yeah, you can, obviously for adults or whatnot, you can uh, get a hobby knife and just don't go too, don't dig in too hard or you'll ruin some of the miniature, just slowly come take this mould line and run the blade against it and slowly get rid of that. Anyway, faces, body, sweet ass blunderbuss looking shooter, one of those grot blasters or grot shooters. This one's got an awesome body with a little fur. My favourite head, not. I will absolutely have always loved this Taliban desert storm looking dude. Another favourite head. He's only got one here. This dude looks like he's been close to a bomb going off and isn't quite himself anymore. So this one comes with the head attached to the body with a top knot. Another sweet looking body, it's obviously you just have to put the head on him. Awesome looking belt strap across him and some nice jazzy pants. Another sweet body. These dudes, a couple of more dudes that are all prepared by the look of it. So you just have to trim them off with the clippers. Carefully trim the gun away. Clean up. You see a mould line across his head. Clean that up stick them to a base you're carrying around a tool what a tool so I was going to say this is just a herder but it's not so we'll go through the rest of the grots got the bandit looking dude you got the one that I again when I edit Put the little goofy kids that looks like him because he looks exactly like him. And so some cool faces. The dude that looks like he's gone to a baseball game. There's a here we go. Didn't even see him. Didn't even notice him on the box 
That's a pretty cool face. Kind of looks a little bit like a night goblin a little bit. Still has that 40k face eyes. I guess because it's a fairly old box set now. You get a body. It's holding double handed holding the gun. Obviously you have to put the choose your face. Um this one. He looks like a grot oil or something. He's got his wife beta, his singlet on. Tank top or whatever, he's got that. He's got his nice little toes showing. And now last, but of course not least, is the big boy. And he definitely is a fatty. He definitely has been using the grots to go get him plenty of squeak mate and fungus ale. Looks like a bit of a viking or dude that would be sitting back. After a fight, drinking some fungus ale. Such a such a cool sculpt for how old it is. It's what probably what twenty years, give or take. Maybe fifteen. The the boys have been around for a good twenty years. Nice little bit of fur, uh, Viking esque. You got the squig hound. You got the hand that's holding the squig hound. <laughs> it looks like something out of alien is without the face attached. So you obviously clean it up and you take that off. If you can see, it's got a bit of a ridge and a dip where. Obviously you take it off, clean it up, you put the face over the face plate. Weird little, I won't say what it looks like, but the tongue coming out, the old red rocket. You put the squig head on top of that. So we got two faces. I'm not really the biggest fan of these. I like the face, but I don't really like these. I guess what is it going to be? I guess bone or something coming out of his nose. So, if, um, if I use that, probably probably get a hobby knife and take them away and take them away. The second face. This face is pretty cool, but it's a bit. Like he got smacked one side or had a stroke or something, unfortunate. Yeah. Um, there's the point point disco stew hand. There's the other variation, uh, variant. The whip instead of the hound. This is pretty damn sweet, but I mean, who doesn't love squigs and want a squig hound? Then we have this. So obviously, you can see the mold line that I've mentioned throughout the video. You can see it just under here. One of the best one visibly that visually that you've seen or can that I can show you. But anyway, again, cut cut get some clippers get as close as you can to it without as if you don't go close enough you either leave too much flash which is this little bit here and it will still be attached or if you go if you sort of half ass it and cut it you won't you, you might chip away at some of this actual arm that you don't you don't want to damage that it's a clip using hobby knife or whatever to clean up any remainder and then you obviously attach the grabber or the little prodder little it's got obviously a little bit of electric electricity 
zappy zap if these grots don't do what they're told you we either grab them and have a go at them get that squig hound on them squig hound's got to eat right or a bit of a zap zap there we go so hope hope that helped you if you're new to the range or even if you're not new to the range hopefully you enjoyed that video okay thank you very much for watching g the hyper sapiens signing out